people say crazy shit on the Blackberries. Well, they used to. Now you say crazy shit on the iPhones and other things, all right? Um, the man has spent more than a decade in jail in Jamaica, all right? And I need to know from some of you who are uh, uh, who have paid attention to this case over the years, does this overturning by the UK Privy Council, does this mean that he will be let out on appeal because he's got Graves' disease? He's not doing well. His face is swollen. Um, last I checked, maybe a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, he was in solitary confinement because there was um, they found him with um, uh, a cell phone. So he was put into a cell with no windows, with Graves' disease. They gave him a bucket to piss and crap in, no windows, and um, damn near being tortured, okay? Now, there are other people as well, along with him, who were convicted. I've got their information as well. We'll get to them. Um, people in Jamaica are somewhat sort of celebrating. Uh, I do want to hear from some of you, but let me just say this early. Do not call in or chime in and act like, you know, we're saying something so wrong here tonight. You need to tell me first why the UK Privy Court had to step in. Why did the white man have to step in and help you down there in Jamaica? Let me just say this early. Um, this is by way of the UK Privy Council. I saw this, this guy say this earlier, whoever he is. In England and Wales, there is legislation which allows a judge to discharge a jury because of jury tampering and continue the trial by judge only. There is no such legislation in Jamaica. For these reasons, the appellate appeals should be allowed. So they had to step in. You're down there governing your goddamn self, supposedly. You're wearing the white wigs still, aren't they? <laughs> Good evening, troll babies. Are they still wearing the white wigs down there in the courts of Jamaica? Giving out some of the most harshest sentences to each other. But the UK Privy Council has stepped in and granted Vibes Cartel an appeal. Now, I don't know, again, if he's going to be let out on appeal or whether he has to stay there. Um, let me just read something else here before we open up the floodgates. Um, he's 48 years of age. This man is almost 50. He was convicted back in uh, 2014 of killing Clive Lizard Williams along with three other people, okay? Um, his uh, successful appeal, as I just mentioned, heard by the Privy Council in London, argued that a juror accused of trying to bribe others, you know the story already for those of you who have paid attention and to the length of, the short length of time that the jury came back after a 60, I think it was a 60 day, um, um, uh, 60, 60 day um, trial. If I'm saying that right, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? If I'm saying that right. Um, so they had to step in. Vibes Cartel, real name, uh, Adija Palmer, okay? Okay, uh, Dees, how are we doing out there? Spelling okay, audio okay? Give me a second, guys. It's been a long day, but a productive day. I see you guys on the phones. Sit tight, sit tight. Okay, okay. Also, um, showrunner. Showrunner. <laughs> Our ugly feet, a deal breaker. Inspired by Karuchi Tran, uh, Breezy's ex, Chris Brown, uh, if you don't know. She's um, selling uh, pictures of her feet on um, uh, OnlyFans. And I guess she's catching some heat from people. Why? Most males are not men. <laughs> They're freaks. <laughs> and they've got all sorts of fetishes. Uh, she's got some pretty ass feet. I'm going to say right now, Karuchi, I, I noticed her feet years ago. I said, damn, why doesn't Breezy took put two babies up in her and just, you know, settle down. But, you know, whatever. Um, So so inspired by Karuchi Tran. And I'm going to, uh, let's, let's, fellas, let's keep it so real tonight. Are ugly feet a deal breaker? Some of you women don't realize you put so much effort into your nails, your hair, your makeup, you get your eyebrows threaded. But if your feet are banged up, you're not getting a ring. <laughs> Gonna get an amen early. You're not getting a ring, you know. 
Women who have pretty feet are allowed to do all sorts of crazy shit, you know, cuss around the house, uh, beat on the cat, th throw the dog out three o'clock in the morning, wh whoop on stepkids. If she's got pretty feet, we tend to just say, okay, I'm like, oh, she's got pretty feet. <laughs> look, look at him saying, amen, amen. This is a whole fact. Let me just go off of memory here. I don't have a lot of notes with regards to uh, celebrities' feet. Uh, Anita Baker, Oprah Winfrey, both of them have old-ass slave feet. Bang the fuck up, uh, hammer feet. Oh, my God, Oprah's feet look crazy. Naomi Campbell's feet look disgusting. Uh, uh, um, oh, God. Um, yeah, give me some other names. Who else has a horrible, disgusting-looking feet? Oh, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Um, Rihanna's got some pretty feet. Woo! Hey, girl. Hey, Riri. Um, Be Beyonce, Beyonce's got a lot of bunions and corns last time I checked. Yes? No? I mean, she does a whole lot of dancing, you know. So that's to be expected, I guess. But, um, <laughs> Ch Ch no, no, we're, we're talking about females. Uh, never mind Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. Or, ladies, if you want to chime in, uh, is it a deal breaker for you, a man? Who has ugly feet? Okay, that's my short run. All right, I see you guys in the phones. I'm coming there shortly. Sit tight, sit tight, sit tight. Uh, what else do I want to say about Vibes Cartel? This was my guy, huh? I did teach. Uh, Make cocky longer than me nine. Mm, huh? Anybody know that song? Tell me what you like. Rump and shop. Classic. I don't give a goddamn about the cake soap. That was my nigga, man. And another one of his songs that I, I, I think I like more than Rompin' Shop, uh, Forever. Huh? Um, how is Spice? Has Spice? Uh, I didn't get a chance to go check on Spice. Her and Vibes have had a, 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 a beautiful history over the years. I'm sure she's got to be celebrating, huh? Let me get a couple of y yachties on the line tonight. Oh, Cam up. Where, hey, this, hang on a second. Here's the cam up link. Let's see if we can get a panel tonight to talk about Vibes Cartel. There's the link. Uh, send me an email. Uh, I would like to get some, some different people, maybe a couple of random people. Chime in. Let's talk about Vibes Cartel, okay? Um, I don't know if he's going to be let out on appeal. But again, the UK Privy Council has overturned the conviction. Now, for those of you, again, who know the case... Um, there was a whole uh, thing about um, uh, 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 jury tampering from one person, if memory serves me correctly, and and he was convicted again. He's been in, in jail in Jamaica for, for well over a decade. Let's have this discussion this evening, okay? All right, all right. I think we're good. Uh, let me see. Deeds, are we okay with spelling and audio? Okay. Deeds says everything is good. Thank you, Deeds. Thank you. And, and Dana, thank you, Dana. Dana, do you want to chime in? Kingston, I got your donation. So are you calling in? Thank you. Kingston 11. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Respect. Thank you, Dana. Dana says some type of shooting in New York City. Yeah, we'll get back to those niggas later. I really think the, the U.S. government is strategically planting migrants in the urban areas to fight with foundational black Americans and other people. I, I truly think that. But we can discuss that another time, okay? Um, uh, Crown, I got your donation. Crown, tap in, tap in. He says, ugly feet are major deal breaker. It's a no for me. You see, you see. <laughs> uh, Briggy, Briggy 83, free world boss. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And, and one more before I get to the uh, to the phones here. Uh, body, okay, my alleged son. Body, body, how, body I got your email. Buddy, I do have an extra reasonable doubt platinum plaque, but you got to give me some time. I'm moving this Saturday down to Emerald Isle, okay? Just give me some time. I'll get down there. I'll go through the boxes, okay? Thank you. He, he sends me donations, my alleged son. <laughs> okay, let's get, uh, let's get the show rolling here this evening. Area code 757, good evening. Are you there? Are you up to speed on the topics? Are you up to speed? Yes, sir. Good evening. How yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. I'm calling about one subject only about okay. the feet. Please. The feet. Please. Okay, I've been a. I'm 45 years old. 
lifelong foot of I'm, I'm obsessed with women's feet mm -hmm. so the thing about pretty feet is you could tell a lot about a woman from the way she takes care of her feet if she got pretty feet and they're pedicured mm -hmm. then you know that she takes other parts of her body just as much upkeep as she does her feet just like a woman's car too okay okay so i'll give you two women who have horrendous feet please Jeannie Mai, Jeezy's ex-wife or ex-wife in the working. I, Horrible feet. Yeah, I saw her feet. Yeah, all banged up. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Horrible feet. Another one is Megan the Stallion, slave feet. Well. That's about it, sir. No, no. So stay, stay with me. Uh, I wouldn't say her feet are that bad. I'm, I, I'm a foot fetish man myself. That's the reason why I, I, I have uh, like three or four pair of stilettos that I keep, you know, uh, and, and and whenever I hang out with females, uh, uh, I, I pull out the box and I say, "Hey, can, can you put these on?" <laughs> <laughs> Megan's feet aren't that bad. She she's and she doesn't really have hammer feet yet, but they're headed headed in that direction. Yes, probably. I mean, another thing is like women that wear the closed toe shoes, the pointy ones. Those are bunion makers right there. So any female, and that's what I believe, Jack the Genie Mai's feet. All those closed toe shows, mm -hmm. shoes will eventually to, lead to bunions and females. You have a valid point because uh, Victoria Beckham, her feet are banged up. Her feet are banged up. Oh, well, what a shame because she's beautiful. Uh, she's a good looking woman, but um, I, you know, a after a couple of smash outs, I would, I would, I would curve her. I would curve her. But uh, thank you for the call. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Sir. You see, guys want to talk about this. Phone lines are open. Uh, there's the cam up link on the screen. Our ugly feet, a deal breaker. Hold on a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go to area code 732. Good evening. Good evening. Vibes cartel. You have to speed. Do you care? Conviction overturned. Seven. Star. Yes. Star. Yes. Good evening. Why are you talking about this guy, man? Educate us. You've been following it? Come on, y'all, man. Educate us. Star, this guy needs to be under the jail. You there? Yardy, you have the floor. Please. Come educate us. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm expecting a response when I talk. That's why. Okay. Yeah, this guy, it's all out there. Just like Tate, he spilled his guts. You know, back in the day when you used to press the button. Sir, sir, can I ask you to, to, to get off of the headset? I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Make, Hold on. Please make the adjustments. Take your time. I want to talk about my nigga vibes, Carl. So free vibes. I'm Hold saying on. this. You're not, you're not, Come on. You can't hear me better now? That's better. Yes. Please. Okay, good. Yeah, this guy, what was it? Nextel or whatever they had in 2010. Where you talk and leave message or WhatsApp, whatever it was. This guy's giving it all up you know what i mean this guy don't deserve any chance i'm not afraid they're not even gonna let him out he's gonna stay in jail and they're gonna try it back over and keep him there well this guy have an opportunity he's the biggest sir, sir are you from yard where are you from sir the, right? are you mean from, from yard kingston it okay <laughs> all right Hey, hang on, sir. Hang on. Stay with me. Stay with me. I appreciate this call. According to the BBC, okay, the BBC says that uh, Jamaica will decide if they want to retry the man. So, so you're saying he's going to um, stay, but uh, they may let it's him not out. a discussion. Listen, that you don't catch people like that on the first murder. You understand me? This guy been indulging in that kind of activities. This guy's the biggest thing out of Jamaica. Hmm. And he take his money and involve in things like that. But this is what Jamaica don't need, people like that. Hmm. You have an opportunity to come out of poverty mm -hmm. and you want to be a gangster. Who does that? How you make legitimate money and then go do that? You can, I, can I ask how old are you, sir? Stay with me, how old are you? I'm up there, man. I'm right on it. I'm like 10 years on you. Okay, so so you, you're, you're... I'm you're, not you're, that fuck. I'm... Yeah, 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 easy, easy, easy. I'm 59. You're 49? 49? 8. 48. Okay, okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Maybe five or six years ago, 
I saw a story, I don't know how true this is, that Vibes Cartel was trying to work with the constables to get guns off of the streets of Portmore. No, 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 no. Listen, that's not him. Even if he did that, it's not him. Those voice notes that they have. But, sir, sir, I heard that story. Huh? I, I saw the story. Do you know the story? I'm just. All right, that's him. That's a true him. Okay. Anything else he's doing, he's just doing it to do to do. Okay. You understand me? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> the guy, the guy. You know what? You know what is done in the dark will come to light. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, no, stay, so, with, stay with whatever me. you want. Sir, so, sir, so where, where is Lizard's body? R.I.P. Where's Lizard's body? <laughs> Listen, these guys. Who's gonna go in a store? That's where I probably think it is. Some, some unsuspecting people store. You know what I mean? That's why I can't pop up. Okay, last thing I want to say to you, and I will give you the final word. According to the BBC, authorities in Jamaica will decide whether the case should be retried. Can you speak to why? Can you speak to why, sir? The UK Privy Council had to step in and, and make this statement and this decision. Can you speak to that? Because the, there is some kind of discrepancy. The case starts with 12 jurors and end up with 11 jurors. And there was someone who, there was one of the jurors that was found out. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to get other jurors, mm -hmm. offering them 500,000, mm -hmm. half a million Jamaican, yeah. I don't know, 10,000 US, whatever amount of money. He's trying to recruit people to pay them off so they can let him go free. Vote not guilty. Okay. A 64 day, you understand? A 64 day trial, sir. One of the longest in Jamaican history. I thank you right. for your call. Right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Respect. Okay. Respect. Okay. Boy, boy, he sounds like a straight vibes cartel hater from Yard. Sheesh. There's the cam up link. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do a panel discussion here this evening. Are ugly feet a deal breaker? Fellas, who, who else has got disgusting feet and you would look at them and say, whoa, uh, yeah, I'd smash, but in the morning I, I would ask you to leave. Um, Halle Berry, doesn't she have six toes on each foot? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Can somebody Google? She had some crazy looking feet. I remember years ago, because I, I always go look at the feet. Evelyn Lazada. Um, celebrity, ce celebrity taunt, something like that. I like her. I, you know, she's caught a lot of flack over the years. Uh, Chad Ocho Cinco, head butter. Wow. And she had a reality show. I forget the name of the show, but I like her. And she's got some pretty feet. I think she has an OnlyFans uh, page where she uh, she shows her feet. Yes, no, troll babies? I don't subscribe to any of these uh, females OnlyFans pages. Let me just say that. Uh-oh, are you tapping in from Jamaica? From Yard. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, read the vibes. Sir, can you make the adjustments? You're going in and out. Are you calling from Jamaica? I see Jamaica. Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Make the adjustments on the phone so we can hear you loud and clear. I'm looking to be educated. A lot of this, I have, for right. I forgot a lot of this. Please. Is this better? Yes, sir. You have the floor. Go ahead. Okay. What happened was, the defense for vice cartel they made an appeal in the jamaican courts and the appeal was turned down right so they took the appeal to the privy council that's how it reached the privy council yes 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 i know and in in deliberating the privy council found that they were focusing on the tampered uh, witness there, there was a witness that took a bribe sir can i ask you to turn that down in the background please you've got something in the background i want to hear you please I want to hear you. Is this better? Yes, sir. Okay, so 
uh, if you're just now joining me, I already uh, read something. I'll, I'll read it to you again. In England, this is what the Privy Council said. I watched I watched the Grafted Man speak. In England and Wales, there is legislation which allows a judge to discharge a jury because of jury tampering and continue the trial by jury alone. There is no such legislation in Jamaica. And for those reasons the appellate appeals should be allowed so i'm up to speed on that but uh what else you got please yes but because the in jamaica they throw the, the case can only continue with 11 jurors and they throw the one that was being bribed so the case shouldn't have allowed to be continued with the 10 jurors it should have been thrown out and started over but because it was too far in the in the in the trial yes. The judge continued the the, the, the case, the, the trial. Mm -hmm. So when it went to the privy courts, they kept asking them, why didn't they do that? Why didn't they do that? So that was one of the major grounds on them. Yeah. Um, but kind of now quashing the case and sending it back to the appeal in Jamaica. What so now what 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 go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. So yeah. what 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 is, what is happening now is it will go before the court of appeal again in Jamaica. For them to make a deliberation. The two choices at hand now is a retrial or they will have to let him go, let him free. A retrial at this point will be very difficult because they can't use the same evidence anymore. And importantly, they can't use the same witness again because the witness is in witness protection and by law they cannot contact him again. So they can't use that witness again. So a retrial at this point would be very difficult. Stay with me. St stay it with would be very. Yeah. Stay with me. I appreciate. Yes. I appreciate uh, your time here. Um, I'm not just saying this because I like vibes, cartels, music. But uh, without the body of lizard, I think that yeah, the, it shouldn't. It shouldn't I, have been a case. I, I, without no the body, so I think the the uh, penalty, the sentence, sentencing was harsh, harsh. Yes, they were. They were trying to make an example out of him. Yeah. Now, he has Graves' disease. This I know. He's, he's not in good health, and he has, I think he has uh, a, a two heart murmurs, or so, something, something with his heart. He's, he's got a bad heart. Yeah, he has some, yeah, he ha, he has some health issues, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he's in solitary confinement last I checked. I don't know if he's out by now, but uh, they have him in, in no, a... It's not, it's no, it's not, no, he's not in solitary, no. Well, he was, sir. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. He was on 23-hour lockdown inside his cell with no windows, and all he had was a goddamn bucket. That's, he was. That's how the jails are out here. You know? <laughs> sadly. That's how the jails are. He was a solitary. Yeah, sadly. He yeah. just had shit to work. <laughs> So, so what are your thoughts? Do you think that the the present climate? I don't know what's going on in Jamaica. Uh, do you think that they that they will, uh, you know, drop the case? A time served. What are your thoughts, please? Well, in my opinion, they have to let him free. They can't retry the case. They have to let him go. And and if they do that, uh, in my opinion, he will sue the government. <laughs> He has to sue the government for wrongful conviction. So that's where I'm at. Is Lizard's family still in Jamaica? Maybe he can get out and, and you know, do some shows and, and break them off a little something. Just yeah, here, here, just here's a couple of Bentleys, you know, let's let's all move forward. Is Lizard's family still there in Jamaica? To my to my knowledge, I know nothing about Lizard and his family. Right, right, so right. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Yard man, I appreciate you. Salute, salute. Yeah, man, big up yourself, PG. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm a big up myself. Phone lines are open. I want people on the screen. Come on, let's let's it's, it's cam up tonight, fellas. Let's talk about our ugly feet deal breaker. A lot of these girls out here don't know. They just they don't know. <laughs> Bitch, I'm letting you talk reckless because you got pretty feet. Bitch, I just want you slap. Fire out of my eight-year-old daughter. It's because you got pretty feet. Bitch, I just want I just watched you crash my fucking Maybach. <laughs> but you got pretty feet, huh? Sheesh. 
Uh, hey, Samantha, I got your donation. Samantha says, uh, do, 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 she says, oh, F cartel. Bullet, bullet. St- oh, oh, wow. Okay, you're going there. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you, Samantha. Might you want to chime in or call in? I, I want some people on the line tonight. You know, I'll let you speak. I'll play nice. Uh, CEO Dante, I got your donation. Salute General Terrain. Gangsta of Love. Gangsta of Love, come on, man. Uh, get on the screen, man. He says, F that jungle bunny. Damn, keep him on lock. It's time to let him out. The man's got Graves' disease. The man has got Graves' disease, you know. Area code 646, good evening. Two topics tonight, are you up to speed? 646. Yes, no, maybe. 646. Okay, we have to go. Calling you from a T-Mobile. Step your game up. Mm, okay, who is this? Who are you? I don't know who you are. D- did we speak? Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Anisha, I got your donation. Thank you, young lady. Yes, okay, okay. And she sent me a, a picture of her feet. <laughs> Very nice, very nice, very nice, you know? You know, there are men like myself who um, we pay attention to the feet. Uh, who, who else has pretty feet? Oh! <laughs> Anybody know the rapper, Kevin Gates? Did, did he divorce or quit that girl who was with him for years? Man, she has some pretty feet. What, what, what's her name? That nigga left her and then uh, smashed uh, a tranny, allegedly. The tranny was up on uh, some goddamn uh, show, Vlad TV, talking about, yeah, he smashed me. Or or maybe the tranny had the tool snipped off. I don't know, but uh, what is her name? Give me her name, goddammit. Something with a D? Uh, area code 959. Good evening. Are you there? 959. We're talking about Vibes Cartel. Yes, no, maybe. Pick, pick it up. Pick it Hello. Up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Bless up. What's up? Bless up, sir. Can you turn that down in the background, please? So we can hear what you, up, sir. Please. We want to hear you. Man calling in from yeah, yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We're talking I'm about vibes. Calling about the topic, you know? Please, please. Mm, the system in Jamaica fucked up, still, you know? Sir, can you watch mm. the language? Can you watch the language, please? Watch the language, please. Oh, my bad. My apology. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> um, cartel still cartel do a lot for the ghetto community, you know? You know? Yes, yes. Them forget, them forget the youth and fear chance, you know? Mm-hmm. Ha- have you, Hello? Or do you live uh, in Jamaica or are you in the Brooklyn, New York area? Where are you calling from, sir? No, my car from Connecticut, but born and raised in a poor more. Okay, 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 okay. I think t- mm-hmm. time has been served, man. I mean, did they ever find Lizard's body? With all due respect, did they find the body? To be honest, still, we can't say if you're a murderer in the car, at the game that them play, you know. You see it? So, if you're in a badness, and you get killed by badness, mm-hmm. a certain thing, you see it? I have a theory, sir. I have a theory that 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 lizard was not killed, and he fell into one of those um well, one of those drains out in Trenchtown. You know the drain, <laughs> the, the, the drains. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. drains that are in the middle of the goddamn street. He fell in one of the drains. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Niggas talk about Kingston and Spanish Town, but do they still have those drains in Trench Town? Jamaica always see the same car. The politician <laughs> them, you know, politician them all for themselves, is it? Yeah, man. But, come on. But come on a level still, yeah, on a level still, lizard. My thing says is a case that we cook up against him, you know, mm-hmm. because him they too powerful and dominant, you know. Yeah. So them did after just really wall him down your seat. Yeah. 
How how is yeah, Spice yeah. doing? Has anybody heard from Spice? Has she uh, responded to the uh, uh, the UK Privy Council's decision? Is she okay? Well, I'm not hear no friend about Mama always good as Spice that she has to big up herself, though. No? Mm -hmm. Spice, mm -hmm. yeah. Spice has some pretty feet, man. Some pretty fucking feet. <laughs> you ever seen her feet? <laughs> Yeah, all right, listen. Um, we're cartel. I'm a no say, I'm a no say, you probably hear this a lot, but where vibes cartel come from, that's the era I grew up in. Cartel, Spice, mm -hmm. Egyptian, the whole of them, you understand? Yes, I win. yes, yeah, the whole, of, the whole of them, that's where I grew up. So I saw them growing up and what they accomplished, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, for the, for the poorer class and for the ghetto community, them supposed to. Make the make the thing level. Mm -hmm. You see it, cause this this just show up all the systems stay in Jamaica. Yeah. If you have money, you have people in a jail right now mm -hmm. who they in a jail for from the eighteen from from the eighteen yes. for a knife for a spliff. You get me? But because them now no money, them can't get no year in you see it. So but now I go all up your things. No, no, st stay with me, stay with me be because you know, yes, yes. Um yeah. Listen, I, I go back to Super Cat, yeah. Capleton, more fire. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rod yeah. Rodney Price, aka Bounty Killer. Yeah, kick in the door. We're, we're placed copper bullet from ceiling to floor. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terra fabulous. Yeah. Terra fabulous. I am here. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know Professor Nut. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, what? Well, yeah, the whole of them people there, you know. Mm -hmm. And as me I say still star, like you know Jamaica is a third world country and no sir, no no no, right, no 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 yeah. sir, no sir. Developing nation, developing nation. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Developing nation, yeah, right. So at the time now, the time come now for the poor class people them for real learn and take heed from this because this is a real lesson, mm -hmm. you know. The people understand them right in uh, the island. You see it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, bigger than teacher, you know. Yeah. All right, star. So go on, dear thing. I may listen to your thing. Big up yourself. Yes, no. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Uh, All right. Respect. We're talking about vibes cartel tonight. I want to see this man released. I want more yardies on the line tonight, huh? Anybody know what my old homie Spraga Benz is up to? Oh, he used to be ruthless back in the days. I saw him pistol whip somebody in a, in a dance hall club <laughs> in Flatbush years ago. <laughs> oh, shit. Gangs of love. What up, baby? Star OG, what up with you? Man, we talk my vibes cartel, man. You up to speed? Up to speed. You know, Gangsta Love is an FBA for life. Uh, I don't really like Jungle Bunnies like that. The oh. only only dude from Jamaica that I cut for like that, Bob Marley. Uh, that's it, man. I'm Peter FBA. Tosh? Peter Tosh? Peter Tosh, yep, yep. And uh, Hussein Bolt, but Vibe Cartel, nah. You ever heard of Ghetto Man Shank? He has a nice CD. He's an old okay. dude that sang right. What about Barrington Levy? Don't know who that is. Shine Eye Girl. Barrington Levy? Nah, Lady Saw. You know about that? Well, look, man. Uh, what, what, what's cracking uh, with you, man? The, you, you went on the screen uh, a couple of weeks ago, and these niggas were was really just, you know, look, <laughs> looking at your background. Tell us where you are, man. So I'm in my closet. Uh, I'm upstairs in my closet. I'm not in the closet, but I'm in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, pan the camera around. Show us what you're working with, big nigga. Oh, uh, let's see. Shit. So, here go the this shoes. This nigga stunting. This nigga stunting. Uh, the Kobe's, the Pennies. Nice. Uh, Adidas. Mm. Uh, Flow the boy Jay, eat your heart out. Let's go. It's, it's some boxes down here, some J's, right. and then right. they say I'm in a trailer park. I don't know if y'all can see out this back window, but you can look at these estates behind me. Well, put the camera out in the back window, big nigga. Let's go. Can y'all see that backyard? You see that backyard? No, you pull, see pull the, the camera back. back there? Pull the camera back just a little bit, just a little bit. You may not be able to see because I'm up 
I'm upstairs. Okay, okay, cut the light out in the room. Cut the light out in the room. I got time, big nigga. All right, let's go. Okay, now, now put the you, camera. Can you see that Ooh, backyard? Okay. You see the mistakes back there? Big woolly shit. Big woolly shit. There you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. <laughs> but uh, that's what the gangster love got going on. But check it out, Star. I really want to get on your topic where you're talking about women with with beautiful feet. And I am a man who loves a beautiful woman. Okay. I like women uh, who have curly hair, jet black hair. Honestly, I like women that have pointed noses, Italians, uh, biracial women. Beautiful feet do come into play, don't get me wrong, but I like a, a, a bottom. I'm not really big on titties, but I just love a gorgeous woman. But feet do come into play. Even if they raggedy, if they keep them manicured or pedicured, then that's a plus. But I just love a beautiful woman. Teeth, the whole nine. Not going to lie to you. How old are you again? I forget, uh, Gangster of Love. Gangster of Love is in his young 40s. You're married, right? I am. Married to a woman that I dated in high school. Uh, I think I'm coming up on like nine years. Okay. Yeah. With all due respect, she walks around the house barefoot. Yes, and you have children. Correct, correct. Does she have bunions, corns? How are her feet, sir? On a scale of one to ten, I would put them at a seven. She's actually, that's one thing she's insecure about is her feet because she has, man, let me shut this closet. Oh, my wife there. Don't talk, don't talk too loud. Close, <laughs> close the door. She might come in and two-piece you. Close the door. I know, right? So uh, she has she has her her second toe that would be next to her big toe. It's longer than her big toe. Oh, oh no, no, no. Yes, no. yes. So she's insecure about that, but they're clean. She keeps them well manicured, pedicured. Pedicure. And then uh, one thing about me is like when I'm downstairs chilling with the wife and we watching TV, I, I love to massage her feet. So okay. that's a plus. You know, they're not bad. I, I would... I rub them. I don't. I don't kiss them. I don't suck them. I know some of these goofies do, but that ain't my thing. Well, listen, man. I respect how you move, and you're you're, you're married, a beautiful family. But uh, you see, it's the girl with the pretty feet that gets what she wants. When, when these girls are uh, have all sorts of fly clothes in the hair, all that's cool. But you, know, in the morning or whenever you know you 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 get up and you you guys are moving about, if the feet are right. She, she she can get what she wants. I'm just saying from experience. But uh, you guys have been married how many years? It's coming up on nine this June. Hmm. Coming up on nine. And I've known her for 22, 23 years. We got back together. Yep. Oh, so you had a little break? A little break in the relationship? She dumped me in after high school. And then we went our separate ways for 20 years. And then uh, fake Facebook reconciled us. Got back together through there Facebook. You there you go. There you yep. go. Well, listen, who, who am I to say otherwise, man? If you have something that works, man, I appreciate you tapping in. Anything about uh, Vibes Cartel, you just said you don't really care about that, right? Nah, I, I know who he is to a certain extent. I've heard some of the uh, horrendous things that he's been accused of. If yeah. that is the case, nobody, it, up. nobody has been found. It's just hearsay. Yeah. And then did you ever see that uh, video they had on him? Where he he looked like he was bleaching his skin. Yeah, well, regular shit out there, man. That's regular shit, my nigga. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not a vibes cartel fan. Bob Marley was my guy, though. Real talk. Well, Bob Marley was a white man with a tan, and he wanted to be buried in Ethiopia. You do know that, right? I just found that out. Actually, uh, the show you were talking about. Where, yes. where uh, you was talking? I about love that. Bob I Marley's that. music. Uh, they Island Records gave me a huge five foot plaque it's it's in my on my uh, my instagram page but um yeah yeah he was um baptized in ethiopia months before he died and 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 out there they have a a statue of him in bob marley plaza but uh you know i appreciate you tapping in man always salute appreciate yes, you for sir. having me thank you for your support okay yes sir my nigga gangs of love tapping in man good dude good dude M. Clark, where are you, man? Or what area code? Hang on a second. M. Clark, what area code? You got to say what area code. Guys, on the screen, www.hudsontubs.com. That's one of my sponsors. Please go there for bathtub and shower 
restoration or reglazing, trust me, you will be uh, impressed with what you see. This man does top quality work. Ask for Maurice. Tell him I sent you. Dub, dub, dub. HudsonTubs.com, okay? Um, Barnell, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in, okay? Um, hey, Peaches, what's going on with you, girl? Okay, Peaches say, you ain't never lie. I got pretty feet. <laughs> and my bills stay getting paid. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Troll babies, who else has ugly feet out here, celebrities? Who else has ugly feet that you wouldn't think? Naomi Campbell has some of the ugliest feet I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Give me some other names. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, if the feet ain't right, girl, the relationship does have a limit. Area code yeah, 410. Go, go, go. Good evening. Are you there? Thursday evening. Yo, 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 Star, what's the word? Yo, 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 yo. How are you, sir? It's cracking. Hey, sir, coming out to BX, man. But Sir, you have to watch the language. Have to watch the language. Oh, my bad, my bad. I, my, that's totally my fault. Yes, sir. My fault. How are you? Um, you know, I want to come come here and say just shout out free car. Say, I'm doing all right, man. How you start? I, we the... don't do shout outs, sir. I've never done a shout out on my show. Please slow it down. How okay, are you, I do apologize for that as well, so <laughs> But yeah, uh, free guys, man. I, I don't know. Lizard, Lizard's body, like you said, is in the uh, yeah, in, the, in, in the, the sewer. That joint is gone. Mm. Gaza music. No? <laughs> yes, sir. Do you know dance hall? Um, listen, listen, I, I'm an old dance hall nigga. I used to be up in the club do, do, doing the belly rub and, and then the bogle. You know dance hall music? Sir, you there? Okay, he hung up. Call here trying to do a shout out. Yes, Troy, I've already said Rihanna has pretty feet. Yeah, Riri. What is the name of that song Rihanna has that I like? I mean, I like a lot of her music. Kiss, kiss it better. Is it kiss it better? Oh, kiss it better by Rihanna, nigga, nigga. Area code seven one eight. Is that M Clark? Good evening, sir. How are you? How you doing, Star? I'm good, man. You sent me some pictures. Uh, do you have a new banner? What, what, what are we doing, sir? Um, well, I got some new work uh, going on. I'm kind of doing um, the green screen on the wall. Got the laptop going on. Just, you know, getting everything, you know, proper. Nice, 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 nice. Where do you want to start, that was sir? Just a, that was just a preview. And, um, no, nah, I just wanted to touch on the uh, Jamaica thing. Now, basically, like, a lot of those guys in Jamaica... It's like a little lawless, and after 8 p.m., if the police write enough tickets, they just go in home and have beers and go to sleep. So all these Kingston gangsters do whatever they want. So if the guy disappeared somebody, I mean, that was kind of a safe way for him to do that, but it's like the Wild West over there. So Have you ever been, I only been, have you ever I've been, been to Kingston Jamaica? once? Okay. Yeah, my whole family's um Jamaican. Um, oh. my family's from com country though. Country is like the more calm part. You call it like the suburbs. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, do you did you enjoy it when you went there? And and how old were you when you went to Jamaica? Um, from age four to twelve, like every summer and like sometimes twice a year. So you know, you run around barefoot. Wild dogs are chasing you. Bulls. Uh, goats, uh, you're seeing people skin goats, and you, you, now you know where uh, curry goat comes from. You know, a little traumatizing as a kid. Hmm. They throw the lobster in a, in a they supposedly they're seven day Adventists and they only eat lobster, but they put in the lobster because they're right by the ocean, hmm. right in the boiling water. Uh, you know, I'm eating my cornflakes and my seven up and peanut butter and jelly, you know, Yankee boy, but you know. That's my little upbringing in Jamaica. How, how old are you? I forget, M. Clark. How old are you? I'm I'm four. I'm forty. Oh, so you went to Jamaica in your your your, your um, developmental years, right? Yeah, like mo most most Jamaican parents, they 
work hard over there. They come here. They make their children born here to get the benefits of citizenship, and then um, they want them to go back to get the culture. I can run around that. barefoot. Yeah. Yeah, I was running around cursing in Jamaica. I buy, I buy to buy, and you know, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. The funniest thing, star. I tell you a little joke. That's how I didn't know the culture. You know, it's like a big tree. I'm in the, my grand uncle's uh, backyard. And we're playing dominoes, you know, it's, we call it par. Like, you know, you just like hanging out yes. with guys. We play dominoes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, you want to get Mr. B. So every time they're like, oh, you play the double six, Mr. B. So for a whole week, they call him Mr. B. So then I'm like, yo, what's up with this Mr. B? They say, <laughs> Mr. Batty Boy. I say, yo, I'm about to fight these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. They try to jump me too. The fine boy, get the fine boy. Try mm. to get bamboo sticks. It wasn't beef. So, so why haven't you been back? Hang on a second, M. Clark. If your family's from there, why haven't you been back? Now nah, they're gonna ask you for stuff. You you go to Jamaica to say, oh, can you bring us chocolate? Can you bring me a bathing suit? Can you bring? Nah, too much begging. You go to mm. a hotel. You don't even talk to your family. Damn. Before. Not, they can wait Have up. you ever been to St. Anne's Bay? I've never been to Jamaica. St. Anne's Bay, do you know that place? No. I like the Virgin Islands, though. It's nice and safe over there. Oh. Okay. Can't hear you, Star. No, I, I was just listening to you, so I appreciate the call, man. Uh, okay, so listen, you sent me some pictures. We're going to, I guess, talk about yeah, not. The they're not. They're not out yet, though. I just wanted to give you a little, you know... See, you know, see what I was working on. Gotcha, gotcha. And I, I set it up, you know, that, that the fancy tree, you know, some type of um Hawaiian joint with some Asian joint. Okay. You know, I kind of set it up how it would look on people's wall. So I customized things for, like, the decor of people's, like, homes. Okay, okay. I Asian, will... Japanese, Haitian, you know, everything. I will definitely check that out tomorrow, man. I appreciate your support, as always, and thank uh, you for the call. All right, Star. More fire. More fire, politician. More fire. Yes, sir. M. Clark tapping him. He says he didn't have a good experience growing up in uh, Jamaica and during his uh, formative years. Hmm. Monica Vibes cartel, huh? Me cocky longer than me nine. Tell me where I like. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Mike, I see your donation. Sit tight, sit tight. 105 fam, he says salute, star. Mm. Flip flops with the stained soles are crazy. Dutty foot. Well, uh, if a woman's got pretty feet, it, it doesn't matter what she wears. You know? She's got pretty feet. She can wear some cheap shoes and uh, still get what she wants, you know? You'll fuck around and, 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 and accidentally give her the debit card. <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, the, the homes. One, one more. Oh. Wendy, oh, Wendy Williams' feet should be in a jar full with vinegar. Yeah. Yeah, feet are crazy, man. It's at uh, Kusangi. I don't know how to say your name. Did you make a cameo appearance in the big pimpin' video? No, 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 I was not. No, down, 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 down. You mean that, uh, the Jay Z? No, I wasn't in there with uh, my nigga Pimp C. No, no, I wasn't in there. But uh, thank you so much for your donation. And Ranger, okay, Ranger, that's I don't want to go back that far, but thank you for uh, your donation. Area code 347. Good evening. Vibes cartel conviction overturned by a privy council in London. Are you up to speed? Area code 347. Yes, no, maybe? Yeah. Five, four, three. Can you hear me? Yes, Can you sir. hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's King Simon. Hey, man. Peace. Good to hear from you. Good to hear from you. Good to hear from you. Peace. How's everything? Yeah, well, you know, man, a lot of that's going on in Jamaica. I, I always... I just hope the man don't die in Jamaica because he's from that same area my family's from. Yeah. In Jamaica, yeah. Spanish Town, Portmore, and and those areas there. And you know, I you know I, I used to work with a lot of these artists doing the rig reggae shows and stuff. But um, 
Vibes, I, I never got to work with. I got to work with Movado and all the rest of them, mm-hmm. Beanie Man and all those guys. Butchers. Movado. And uh, Super Cat. Right. Yeah, Super Cat and Shaba and all of them. I worked with them later so. But, um, and Spiger Buns, you mentioned Spiger. Spiger and I, old friends from back in the day. Great but, guy. You know, great you know, guy, man. Spiger yeah, ben. great guy. Cause he was, yeah, he was dealing with Foxy Brown, if you remember. You recall back in <laughs> King, 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 King Simon, don't, don't go in that direction because then the memory has come back. And, you know, <laughs> good man. Brooklyn. Good man, Spraga yeah. Benz. Good man. Yeah, but good I hope, you know, I know he has families, and I know he's married to some chick or he's engaged to some sister that's, uh, that's out from another country that's mm-hmm. probably helping and fighting for him also. So that could have been why. They also got to turn over certain things, and London had to come in and step in. You know, London has jurisdiction. If they have to come in, they'll come and step in and do what they have to do. So, you know, and my my well, uncle, hang, my hang grand on, uncle, used hang, to be one. Hang of, on, hang on, yeah. King Simon, stay with me. Uh, King, yeah. uh, uh, Vibes Cartel. Yeah. Yes, he married a woman. Uh, she she looks Caucasian, but she's not right. What is? I forget where she's from. No, she she. I think she she looks she 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 looks like she's. India slash India, something like that. Something, yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Is he still married to her? Because um, uh, she was really, you know, uh, t- trying to get him released, and she, yes, did a lot of work for him. Um, he's got Graves' disease. He's forty-eight, yeah. I think. He's almost fifty. Um, he That's was, what I heard. He was being held in solitary confinement, twenty-three hours a day, in a cell with no windows because they caught him with a. Uh, a cell phone. Do you know about this? I heard. I heard the story about the cell phone. That, but how do you sneak those cell phones in? It's it's crazy. <laughs> they, they got methods. I think I it's heard. sad, man. I, th- I think it's sad. Yeah. I mean, and again, it, not just because of his, uh, 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 you know, status in the world of music, but I mean, it's still, man, they they're, they never found Lizard's body, right? Or did they find it? I don't know. No. Not that I've heard. I haven't heard that. I, I could call some of my media personalities that are entrenched with it in Jamaica. Cause my, my cousin is a, a radio personality at RJR in, okay. in Jamaica. I can call him. But, you know, it's, you know, stars like, I think reggae music or dance hall need a revitalization. And if he comes out, it'd be a revitalization happen. Dance hall definitely the revitalization. So, I hope they let him out, but I heard he's a little bit more conscious now than, than what he was doing. But I think, you know, but he's going to have to come out. I think if he come out like Bujo did, it'll be, it'll be fire out there in Jamaica. Man. It'd, be, it'd be good. And I, I don't want him to die in jail, although, what he, although people call him murder and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if he did his time, he did his time. Uh, you know, let him out. Let him out and let him take care of his family the proper way instead of voicing and doing music from in a jailhouse. It don't make sense to me no more. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah. Are, are they saying anything out of Jamaica with respect to uh, retrying the case or dropping it? Because it is now in the in the hands of the Jamaican courts, according to the BBC. It's, it's now up to Jamaica right. uh, with regards to whether they will um, retry the case. There's still developments and it's coming along. So I wouldn't be surprised. This is a, probably would be a good year for Vibes Cartel for him to come out or they retry the case in, in his favor. Hopefully that the lawyers are not messed up and they're not paid off. And it's the foolishness, they're not trying to keep them in there. Because, you know, sometimes they would try to keep you, you know, off of some vindictive stuff, especially in Jamaica, man. And, and my, 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 my uncle was a corporal in Jamaica police mm. years ago. And I know how vindictive they can be. You know what I'm saying? Just by li- being in that time, living in and out of Jamaica as a young child myself. And I don't know what that guy said. I enjoyed Jamaica as my, in my formative years, man. So I don't know what that other guy was saying. <laughs> it was a beautiful time. Now, do they, still call you know? the, do they still call the police constables or is that like an old saying? No, they still they still use those words. They still use a lot of those words. Const- of those old, you know, they still dress it in wigs in the courthouse, man. Come on. <laughs> Listen, that's I, I, oh. I asked that question earlier. Are they still wearing the old the old British wigs? <laughs> it's still in courtrooms. Yeah, they're still doing their madness, man. <laughs> hey, hang on a second. You know, but- King Sam, hold on a second. Uh Troll Babies, have you ever heard of Derby's Dose? I've spoken about that before decades ago derby's dose this is where they practiced uh this in jamaica so so they have a history of doing each other dirty i say that respectfully uh king simon to you 
Um, no. I would like to see the yeah. man released. Uh, he's got Graves' disease. Um, let him out. Maybe he can do something to to help Jamaica. Is there anything uh, by way of um, politics or some type of conspiracy that we should consider with Ch with China taking over the island, uh, the beaches shrinking? Um, and other things, uh, uh, the, the locals not being able to use most of the beaches. Is there mm. anything mm. that Vibes Cartel can be used for by the government to help that place? Yeah, uh, you know, it depends. It depends, really, because, you know, if China is taking over, China is really, you know, Japanese are more into the music than China is, but China is now getting into it. But if they can use Chinese government or some influential person from out of America to step in and talk to Mr. Holiness, the, the prime minister there, maybe it can work to get him out and let him do some real community work all over the world and bring finance into certain, you know, schools and finance certain hospitals and, you know, let what Shaggy's doing and what, uh, you know, Kipatan is doing, bringing, bringing money to give to hospitals and schools. That's what he should be doing. That would be probably more helpful from a vibe cartel and help import more. Because that part of Spanish Town, they definitely need help. You know, that's that that would be important. That would be important. They could do that if they Shaggy, really. Shaggy's are a great about guy. Me. Shaggy's a great guy. I have a huge Shaggy. Yeah, guy. yeah. We went to school. Him and I went to. I have a diamond plaque. Yeah. I have a Shaggy diamond plaque, and we've always had great conversations. Oh, you got the diamond. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if oh, you oh. go to my Instagram uh, page, you'll see the Shaggy diamond plaque uh, that that I've um yeah. I've had it for years. Had it for years, but um. Well, hey. you know, we, we used to perform. We used to perform together. Him, Screechy Down, Red Fox, me. When yeah. I was a reggae artist, I went up number five on the reggae charts back in the day. So yeah. they all know me as Simon Templar back in the day when they called me Simon right. Templar. So you know, that's, that's me. But uh, about the pretty feet, you know, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> come on, come on, King Simon, come on. We we grew up with this. <laughs> We love Pretty Feet, man, and I, I I used to be a massage therapist, and Pretty Feet was very important uh, when I when I did massage. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that is a deal breaker with a lot of us brothers out here that really love good feet walking around. They can almost get anything they want from us back in them days. <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything by way of numerology? Because you are a numerologist. Yes. Woo. With with vibe cartel? No, no, no. With, with, with pretty feet. Is there anything by by, by way of the the the, the stars and 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 the mathematical equations? What is it about pretty feet and and men and and the attraction, the fetish? Or, or am I just am I going? somewhere else is there anything <laughs> you, you go you go you're going somewhere else but i tell you one thing that in in numerology and either astrology remember feet is ruled by the piscean energy in numerology the number three is connected to the piscean energy so if a woman I, i've noticed from my study of patterns and cycle sisters that had a lot of threes in their chart are born under the third or the 30th or the 12th of the month or, or the 21st of the month, they had the prettiest feet amongst the ones that, and those that were born under the number six, a lot. Now, those are the ones that rep represents beautification and that expression. So uh, under, under that science and patterns and cycles and sequences, when I see, started studying feet, I realized that it was the Piscean women and sometimes the Sagittarius women and sometimes the people, the women born under that number three frequency. That's what I'm noticing. Bingo. I was just about to jump in and say, you know, in my experience, girls who are Sagittarius have pretty feet. Mm. Uh, cancer, yeah. Aries, cancer, cancer. Mm. Sagittarius, Aries. Sagittarius, Cancer, uh, uh, Aries, Aries, pardon me, Aries, and Gemini. Those are the ones that have the pretty feet. In my humble opinion, go ahead and finish up. Now, that's, that's interesting you say that because they can be under that sign and probably have a lot of threes in their chart and everything. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, that in their name and their birthday, all of that. So that's very interesting that you said that. So I'm going to have to analyze that a little bit more. People, please come to my, my YouTube channel, King Simon Presents. I'll be dropping it all down on the words and right. numbers and birthdays and all that kind of stuff. So right. thank right. you very much, Star, for all that you do and, yes, your, and keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank okay, you. King Simon. Thank you. All right. Been doing this for a lot of years. Girls with the ugliest feet: Scorpio, Virgo, 
and Libra. Oh. <laughs> Girls that are Libras, they, for some reason, they always have uh, feet that's like shoe leather. <laughs> David, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in, sir. Star, I've been watching for a while. Salute. Thank you. Uh, Huddy Entertainment. Okay. Mike, I got your donation. Uh, well, sir, can can we stay on course here? Can we stay on course? You want to call in? I appreciate your donation. Hold on a second. 757, sit tight, sit tight. Uh, hi, Angie. Oh, she says I just, in, <coughs> just insulted her. Yeah, uh, girls who are Scorpios have ugly feet. I'm sorry, just I've never... I've never met a, a Scorpio woman that has pretty feet. <laughs> um, uh, do, 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 do. Alexander got your donation. Oh, wow. Uh, Mike says Lizard is with Miss Cleo. Did she pass away? Hang on a second. Call me now. Is she gone? Yeah, she. 2016. She, she was catching Vex, lovely. Uh, was she, was she Jamaican? Hold on a second. It doesn't say. Call me now. <laughs> that was a thing. Psychic Readers Network. Uh, I don't know. Can't read everything right now. Area code 757. Good evening. Vibes Cartel granted an appeal. You have to speed. 757. Yeah, yeah my respects. How are you going, brother? Yes, sir. How are you? Exactly. All right. Good, good, good. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk about the cartel situation. Yes, sir. Um, the, yeah. Okay. Um, you want me to start it or you want to start it? Well, to take it anywhere you want to go, but as long as we, we acknowledge the UK Privy Council, they they have given him the, this appeal. Yes, you have to speed, UK Privy Council. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Um, you are going, you know. You see, this is uh, like a um, distraction, you know, mm. more than anything else, meaning like um, with the everything that's going on with Haiti, not just Haiti, but Ukraine and um. Israel and all them things. I'm going to take it to another level. You come understand on. me? Not come, just, on. come on. Not, not just the regular way people are talking about, but them always do this to me. You know what I mean? Cartel is a very, very, besides UC and Bolt came close to Bob Marley. Mm. I know I'm going around. I'm going all the way around, but you got to understand what I'm saying at the end. But just work with me, please. We have a long night, right? Take, your time. Take, time, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. What happened, you know, is that Jamaica is in a hole. China go take over Jamaica, period. So here we go going now. You see the thing called revenue? That's all it's going to bring. Meaning like Israel, the war in Israel, the war in um, Ukraine and all these things. I know it might not seem like whose cartel say, you know, be an impact to that. But it's big. It, 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 I don't say it's big, but it's just something where this is not going to expose Jamaica government to say, yo, there's a lot of mistrial going on and this and that. It's all about revenue and distraction, I believe. I agree. They're going, they're going to let them out. They're going to let them out. You know what I'm saying? They're going I to agree. let them out. I agree. Yeah. So, I... yeah. So, what happened is now, just like, oh, you know, a lot of states taking their time passing weed, just, it's just a test. They see that cartel is very, very powerful. Besides, like I said, besides Bob Marley, I told you, I'm going around the bush, but I'm coming back to the same Take point. Take your time. Take your Bob, time. Bob Marley, thank you, Star. Thank you. Respect, brother. Bob Marley, when you talk about Bob Marley, everybody in the four corner of the earth know Bob Marley. No matter where you're from, there's no other Jamaican bigger than Bob Marley besides Marcus Garvey. You know that already, but I'm just saying, like, for our time where people, regular people, don't understand and know. 
Bob Marley is one of the most influ- influential Jamaican. You don't hear people talk about Marcus Garvey unless you go deep. A lot of people don't know he was Jamaican. Right. So Bob Marley is the fierce. You see him both. The only one came close to Bob Marley. So now they see that. I would never say nobody ever going to beat Bob Marley because you can't say never. But Cartel, so far in my 45 years of living, Cartel is the only one I see so far right now in this time. That is the closest thing to almost breaking the record close to Bob Marley. He's never going to take the record because people in certain places don't know him. You understand what I'm saying? But everybody knows Bob Marley. So I, I, I'm going to speed it up a little bit now. So I say that to say this. Bob Marley, um, when Cartel come out, somebody said on Instagram that I did, that if he ever come out, they're going to make that day a national holiday in Jamaica. When Buju was released, Buju sold out and make money for a short period of time. Buju fade out now. Yeah. But the impact that <laughs> cartel put on the music. No respect, no respect. No, I mean, I got this. No icon. When yeah. I mean fade out, I'm sorry, Buju, but respect your brother. You did your work, but you know, live on and respect your Buju. Yeah. But what can, I'm... can I jump in for a second for those who don't know? Yeah, yeah, uh, man. For, the, me, for those who don't know, when Buju uh, came home, he no longer wanted to perform Boom Bye Bye, right? No more. Yeah, but um, I'm going to tell you this. I, no I, more. A lot of them Jamaicans sell out. <laughs> they sell out, man. <laughs> Buju, all of them sell out. Right. The only one, you name, you name Bounty Killer, Bounty Killer told America, you is a gay country, I mean like gay. So I don't need a visa. I'm good right here in Jamaica. That's why Bounty Killer don't get his visa. Yeah. Because he tell them straight up, you people in the Western world, y'all is gay, I don't like gay. Understand? So I'm not. Uh, oh, I hope I don't say nothing to damage your show. No, sorry. Am I okay to say gay? Yeah, yeah. yeah All right, cool. Yeah. So here, what happened what happen now? Buju don't sell out. Respect the Buju button, don't sell out. Certain people hold the grounds, right? Now, cartel is not about selling out, it's not about the farm. Cartel don't have. The, the fire, like Kipertan and Bujo and all them, that was burning the fire upon gays and certain injustice and things. The cartel is just an influential guy where he's very intelligent, but did a dumb and stupid thing that day. You understand? Whatever happened, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I'm not going to speculate too much right, on that. Right. I come with my conspiracy theory. But anyway, right now, Star, if that guy come out, I'm not going to say he's going to come out. I say, if cartel ever come yes, out of jail, yes, um, yes. star, mark my word, star. And you don't know me, know you from a long time, from off of Sterling Street, you know. Oh, wow. You don't know the restaurant. Okay, already. okay. You know the restaurant, star. I ain't going to tell you who I am, but well, you don't ha- know who's ha- this. Ha- ha- you know hang you? on, hang on, hang on. If, if you say Sterling, you're talking about feeding tree, right? Come on, star. We just the ox steel, but we know you say on the radio, but star, listen. <laughs> it's when you and Buck, hey, listen. Yeah, man. Hey, star. Feeding star. tree. <laughs> <laughs> star, hey, listen. <laughs> hey, Star, a bit time I come from, you know, Lexington and Troop, you know, Star. Okay, okay. You understand me? Feeding tree with a yard man cook it up right, right? Hey, listen, you don't know the thing. I you don't know the thing, Star. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> me, listen, me, let's be, uh, hey, Star, a long time ago, but I'm not going to like you, regular man. people. Because I'm not in a groupie, so okay. you don't know the thing already. But, hey, That's stick right. to the business now. So, here what? So, I'm going to make like, another call, a call in, and I don't want to, you know, Pick up your time. So anyway, it's going to be very, very monumental if him come out. I They're going so. to think about trying to give him a national holiday, yeah. to be honest, because this guy in Pac, mm-hmm. you know, is, is, this guy is very intelligent star. When it comes to lyrics, I used to DJ, you know, and okay. is nobody, nobody so far have the intellectual like this guy, Cartel. Mm-hmm. This guy could rap in Gypsy. He could rap. He could DJ in Gypsy. He can DJ in in um, backwards. And this guy is very intelligent. But like I said, if, if I can jump if in, he, if, if I can jump in, I would almost say he he's a wordsmith similar to 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 Biggie. Biggie. Definitely similar. Yes. Definitely. But by way of da- by way of dance hall. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, it, it, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm sorry for if, if he did what he did, you know what I'm saying? And But it is what it is, but yeah. moving forward, this is going to be more than just F. Cartel come out, yeah. more than just 
satisfying the people mm -hmm. or saying that the judge exposing what needs to be exposed is going to be bigger than that. They see that they're going to use this guy to make a lot of money. Off, right? You've made a it's lot all of about sense. money and destruction. Yeah. You made yeah, a, money and destruction. You made a lot of sense, uh, Yodi. I appreciate that's the it. Call. That's all I gotta say. So I don't care if him kill him or never kill him or yeah. the, 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 the justice system in Jamaica is unjust. Listen, man, I, I ain't gonna go into deep like that. I foolish is that. The okay. main thing is that it's two it's two things I believe. Like I said, I'm assuming and I believe. Right, right. So it's not a fact, guys. That is a money scheme and a okay. destruction scheme. Okay. That's it. Them good, two things I'm going. Good to talk to you. Salute. Salute. Yo, star, you don't know in a big up yourself. Yes, sir. All right, all right respect. Your one love, brother. All right, man, all cool. right, all right. Star report back in the building. Okay, okay. Thursday evening, we are having a good discussion with regards to dance hall artist vibes cartel. Okay, if you're not at the speed, the uh, the UK Privy Council has decided that uh, his appeal uh, should be granted. And his murder conviction overturned from 2014. Condolences to Lizard and his family, but the body has never been found. Enough time has been served. I don't like the fact that, that this man has got Graves disease. And they put him in this 23-hour um, uh, lockdown. I don't know if he's still there or has been let out. Enough, enough already. Sheesh. I'm nobody's fan, but I think it would be a great thing if they, they let him out and, and, you know, concerts and, I don't know, just a bunch of things that would uh, give Jamaica a shot in the arm. Something with the economy. Yes? No? Troll babies? As the last caller just said, it's all about money. All right. Let's get back to the phone lines here. Um... Area code 901, are you there? Good evening, good evening. We're talking about Vibes Cartel in the UK. What's up, Star? Yes, sir, how are you? I'm doing good. I was looking at it from this standpoint. Um, I remember a couple episodes ago, you were talking about the barbecue guy. So I'm looking at it like, are they trying to use Vibe Cartel as a pun, like to kind of please them? Possibly. Possibly, yeah. Because, um... From the looks of it, barbecue, he doing good so far. So it's kind of like just trying to use Vibes Cartel to like kind of like shift the people. And they might use him as a poster child of peace. From my point of view. Barbecue from Haiti, sir. From Haiti. A rebel, not a gang leader, a rebel. That's who you're talking about for those who don't know. Yes? Yes, sir. Continue. Please continue. That's all I had to say. I just wanted to call in and come from that point of view. No, no, well, stay with me because uh, you you may be making a, a really good point here. I mean, th maybe there's something that uh, could uh, stir up some type of, I don't know, uh, uh, publicity for another cause or some type of political move in Jamaica. I don't know. I've never been to Jamaica. Are you Jamaican? No, I ain't Jamaican. I'm Memphis. <laughs> Okay, Memphis. I feel like uh, I feel like they can use him. You know how they get him out of jail, pay him under the table. Yeah. And now he pushing peace, do a peace concert, and next thing you know, barbecue, you know, might wake up dead somewhere. I don't know. I don't know why you're uh, interjecting barbecue from Haiti with regards to five score. But now hang on a second. Hang on a second. Do you think, uh, or do you do you know the latest with regards to the Bulgari laws in Jamaica? Bulgari. No, okay. I'm not. Okay. I appreciate the call, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thanks. Let me let me do my own goddamn work here. Bulgari in Jamaica. <laughs> 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 oh, boy, don't get me started going down a rabbit hole. Oh, Bulgari Law, Jamaica, the Offenses Against the Person Act. OAPA provides as follows Section 76 Unnatural Offenses. Whosoever shall be convicted of the abominable crime of Bulgari committed either 
with mankind or with any animal shall be liable to be imprisoned and kept to hard labor for a term not to exceed 10 years. You know, a wise man once upon a time said, if you can't be used, then maybe you're useless. Might they bring Vibes Cartel home to promote LGBTQ plus behavior and compliances and this sort of thing is okay. Let me go to my beautiful troll babies. Anybody want to chime in? Hmm. Give me a second. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm I'm reading the live chat here. Give me a second. Um Area Code 201, good evening. Are you there on a Thursday night? 201. Yes, how you no, doing? Maybe. I wanted to touch on the um, on the topic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? I think ugly feet are definitely a deal breaker because if a woman don't take care of their feet, they don't take care of shit else on their body. Well, sir, can you watch the profanity? It's just easy. It's a little too early to just, you know, throw that into the conversation. Let's. Sorry about that, brother. Yeah. And please don't call me a brother. Please. Basically. Please. Okay, okay. Got you, got you. You were saying? But yeah, you know, if... We... Oh, say that again? Hello? Yeah, you have the floor, sir. Continue. You have the floor. Yeah, a woman should take care of her feet, her hands, like everything, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's proper grooming. So if, if, you know, to me, ugly feet, you know, definitely a deal breaker. If you, you know, you got to take care of yourself, basically. Are you new to the show, sir? Huh? Um, first time calling? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Are you married, sir? How old are you? Let's let's explore this. How old are you, and are you married? I'm 34. I'm, I'm single at the moment, but you know I have some experience with being in relationships with you know uh, some some beautiful women. But you know if I look down and I don't see things right, you know my boomerang tip you know what i'm saying like i keep it pushing okay some of the weather's breaking right now so we're gonna get to see have you ever looked down and seen a penis respectfully say that again i'm sorry i didn't hear you you, you, you just said if you look down <laughs> things don't look right so i said respectfully have you ever looked down and seen uh the willy bobo pop out boing <laughs> 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 no, nah, that, that's luckily I, I never experienced that situation. <laughs> <laughs> never experienced that. Well, well, hang, hang on, sir. Hang on, sir. Respectfully, your generation, you, you guys are different. You guys are different. So, you know, it's <laughs> some, some niggas out here, there's no difference between uh, 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 sucking a pole and licking a hole. So, you've never looked down. And seen a pole pop out. Boing. No, definitely not. Definitely not, man. I, I've been lucky to where I haven't, you know, haven't ran into that type of situation. But, you know, I, I know a natural woman when I see one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even have to, you know what I mean? Like, you can just tell. You can tell them the, the facial features, you know, jawline, all that good stuff. So, Hypothetically speaking, sir, if you ever you know, were in a situation and <laughs> The, the face was right. <laughs> you couldn't tell that it was actually a lace front. <laughs> that the feet were tiny. The feet were right, and then you, 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 you get close, and then, and then uh, uh, the the panties come down, and then boing, out pops the woolly bobo. What would you do? I would probably smash anyway, sir. Ooh. Say that again, sir. You just kept it real. I said I would probably 
keep it pushing, sir. That's what I said. No, 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 I, no, I no. It. You said you, would, <laughs> you said you would smash. That's what you just said, sir. Yes. No, sir. Come on, come I on. Said I would keep it pushing. Come on, keep it. Rich. I don't know what you, you heard. You just said don't you would smash. So you don't said you would smash. I heard no, you. No. Okay. I, I didn't say that. No, I right. said I will keep it pushing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate the call, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Troll babies, that nigga just said he would smash. We're not hating. I just, you know, stand your ground. Man to man, gal to girl, that's wrong. Scorn them. Who said that? Troll babies. Before I go back to the phone lines. Scorn them. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going back. <laughs> back into time. Area code 860. Good evening. We're talking about two topics. So you have the speed. 860. Yeah. I'm clearly up to speed. Free world boss. How are you, sir? Let's crack him. Good, good, good. The last time I called into this show, you were having a show about cartel was an informer. There was talk, sir. And, and I saw an article. I can Google it right now, if you like, saying that... Uh, he was working with the constables to get guns off of the streets of Portmore. Well, he's, well, he's changed and reform, and it's time to come home. Okay. Continue. Uh, Gaza Nation is very happy tonight. Mm. We would be more happy if he was released fully. But uh, we know that Jamaica is not going back through with a whole new trial. The deal is going to be made. And let this man with thyroid cancer come home. Mm -hmm. All right. World boss, Gaza we say. Mm. Gaza music. We never switch. We never we never switch sides. All in therapy are chatting foolishness and I diss up. We stay loyal, you know? Mm -hmm. Are you from Yard, sir? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? You're talking to Jump Stu. I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Okay. Stay. My parents are both my, my parents are both from Jamaica. Okay. Stay with me, sir. I appreciate this call. I just pulled up the article. Okay. Uh okay. Oh, you remember the show when you was when you was chatting shit about the world boss. Sir, oh. sir please watch the language. Watch the language. All right, sorry. Go please, on, go please, on, go please. On. Now, in my live chat right now, I'm gonna post the article. Whether you think I was talking ish or not. There's the article, sir. <laughs> there it is right there. All right, all right. There's all kind of articles. Well, sir, there it is. There's my source. If if I have a source, I'm going with the source. I don't care what, what your <laughs> feelings are. Can you see, see the article? All right, all right. No, 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 sir. Don't try and be dismissive. <laughs> I just posted the source. Click on it. All right. You're doing your journalist work. Thank you. Thank you, old nigga. I'm the old man. Oh, are you running? <laughs> You're running now. You're running. I just, I produced a source. Oh, there's sources for all kinds of sources and things. But you pull up articles about P. Diddy, too? Are you doing so? If need be, yes. If need <laughs> be, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, anyway, I, the world boss soon come on. He's the greatest. He's behind Bob Marley. Uh, behind Bob Marley. <laughs> Guy Cartel is the most influential artist out of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. The people will be crowded in the streets of Kingston. Mm -hmm. You know, party at Portmore tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, all cartel music, all three thirty thousand hundred songs he has. And he has continued to release for his fans while incarcerated. All right. What What about uh, Mavado and Popcon? Have, have they? Mavado Mav Mavado is a married man hiding in Florida. He can't go back to Jamaica. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Now, have he and Popcon? Hang on, hang on. Have he and Popcon worked things out? I know my dance hall. Okay. All right. You do talk a lot of Brooklyn something, so maybe yeah. you do, but. Yeah. I'm I'm old, sir. So answer the question. You 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 say you know what's going on. Have they worked things out? Popcon and Mavado. I believe so. I'm not a, I'm not a gully. I'm not gully unruly, but I believe. Right, right. 
You don't know. Just say, I don't know. Star, I don't know. You caught me. First of all, I'm in a, I don't follow up Popcorn. <laughs> Isn't Pop, Popcorn and Drake, are, are they still friends? <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm talking I I'm talking dance hall, sir. Never mind, never mind Drizzy. Talking dance hall. If you don't know, just say Star, I don't know. I don't know, sir. I guess so. Maybe. I, uh, uh, Lovato uh, can't come back to Jamaica. Uh, I know that much. <laughs> All right, listen, before you go, click on the link at the top of the live chat. It's right there. Yeah, he was he offered to work with police. Constables. Free world boss. I need to go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. There was an article right there. The police say Vibes Cartel offered information on wanted men and firearms for his freedom. I'm not mad at that. Hey, yo, I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get back on tour. <laughs> Make cocky longer than me nine. Tell me what you like. Huh? Oh, my nigga. Anyway, um, we got some good calls on here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, I want to talk to some females about our ugly feet, a deal breaker. Area Hello? code uh, 407. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. What's up, Juan? Yes, sir. How are you? Good evening. Yeah, man. Vice got to us on free, boss. Big him up. Big him up. I hope so. I hope so. Enough time. Yeah, man. Enough time, you know? Yeah, man. Long time, man, for free. You don't know the yeah. Jamaica system corrupt big time. Mm -hmm. From way back in the 80s, from back in the show, there's a fear of corruption. Go, go, going back to... Going back to the sixties. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm still Jamaica corrupt. I'm still corrupt. <laughs> Free world boss. Free world boss. Um, has anybody? Yeah, man, you listen. Anybody heard from Spice? Huh? How's Spice doing? She's got to be crying, excited. What's going on with Spice, man? No, man. Not not going for Spice. She turns to Yankee. She overturns. She's not a Yankee thing. And we're not a Yankee thing. Mm. Yeah, ever since she do the reality show, she flopped. No, not now going fair again. Well, she she she's, crossed over. Well, she stood her ground. Uh, Erica Mena th threw threw something at her. It's not like you know she. It's not like she was punked or anything, you know. But... Yeah, but real Jamaica when I deal with them things, at least Jamaica the things said. Mm -hmm. They try to look some look of fame America. Look how far I get her. Not get her nowhere. Right, 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 right. I haven't seen her in years. Yeah. She still look good, Spice. No, pure artificial, pure surgery. Yeah. You know the surgery world. Big ass, big titty. That's okay. Brown light skin. Yeah, she she not a browning thing. She have bleach. She she have, she bleaching now. <laughs> yeah, man, she have bleaching. <laughs> bleaching thing. Well, that's it. It's, it's, man. it's all about money. But are you from Yard? Where are you from, sir? Saint Elizabeth, Jamaica. Okay. Warm up the nineties. If you ever know about the nineties, them a nineties. Mm. Saint Elizabeth will come from. Mm -hmm. You know about nineties. Yeah. BK. Yeah. Yeah, man. Saint Beth, Saint Elizabeth. What's going on with Terra Fabulous? Any, anybody seen Terra Fabulous? That was my guy back in the days. He's still around? No, not now. No, not now. Going for him? No. You know that new school. Want to skeng? You listen, skeng. So, so, sometime, I mean, I, I try to keep up with the new school, but I, I, I love the older stuff, you know? Older stuff, man. Yeah, man. Ch try to check out some of the new stuff, man. You have to blend in, too. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the new stuff has really changed anything, so to speak. You know, they haven't... Uh, not that they have yeah, to... Man. Not but that they have to cross over, but just give me something new. A, a shot in the arm, something different, you know? How about them talk about taking Molly and sniffing coke? They're on a different level now. I don't want to hear that from, from, from Yard, man. I don't need that. Yeah, man, I can't blame my eyes, sir. For real, man, them on it. that's how we need world boss to come and change up things. I don't mean to the go new school. The... I don't mean to go back too far, but let, 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 let's take Molly out of the picture for a second. Let's take Molly out of the picture. Peter Tosh. Yeah. Peter Tosh worked too hard. To have the the young dance hall kids of today just totally be off the rails. Peter Tosh worked too hard, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. For real. Yeah. And work too hard to make the kids in our days are listening to them look a fuck real star. Yeah. yeah. They turned to Yankee, man. They're not a Yankee system, no. Mm -hmm. They crossed over. Mm -hmm. You can't cross over too much. You can't cross over, but not to a certain limit. You know what I mean? Cross over and cross out. 
Cross over and cross. Yeah, side. Dr. Mado. <laughs> you, yo, you know, you, you, you thought you would have seen, you thought you would have heard Jamaicans talk about taking mollies. You thought you would have heard something like that back in the days. No. Finish up. Yo, talk your talk. I'm in a rush. Finish up. Take your time. No, stop. Hey, stop. I forgot to sell some weed though, right you now. Okay. Somebody knocked by the door. Okay. You don't Res know man, a weed seller. Yes, sir. Big Re up, big respect. up. Respect, big up. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't see anybody um, name the lyrics I just referenced, huh? Man to man, gal to girl, that's wrong. Scorn them. <laughs> uh, punch, I got your donation. Which punch is that? Is that punch from uh, Brooklyn? Is that my nigga from Brooklyn? Wait a second. Punch, 689, which punch is this? <laughs> Yo, 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 stop, what's good, man? Is this Punch from Brooklyn? Nah, it's, nah, it's Punch from BX. Man. Oh, okay, okay. What's cracking, homie? Let's get to it. Yeah. Let's get to it. What's the deal, Star? Yo, Free the World Boss is number one, man. That's yes. I'm starting off with that. Yes. Man. You feel me? Yeah. I want to say also, I don't know why nobody else has talked about how much of a musical genius this man is, Star. This man from, from the year... I would say 2007. He has, and and I'm sorry, to, uh, I'm not trying to uh, transition, but real quick, just to reference those lyrics, that's a romping shop. Mm -hmm. That's how he started off the song. Am I correct on that one, Star? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. And, you know and, what I'm and, and that spice, that spice, scorn them. <laughs> there, you, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Yo, listen, let me tell you, I'm a Gaza fan from day one. Come man. on, come on. From day one, dog. You feel me? Gaza forever. You feel me? Everybody know me. They know I represent Gaza till the death. You feel me? Right. But anyways, um, so yeah, like this man Cartel from the year 2008, star. You know what I'm saying? He has brought a range of dance hall music to the scene that nobody has ever heard or seen before, star. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Can we can we give him the credit there? Yes, you know what I mean. If I can say this, a prolific writer. I mean, that, prolific. That that's been said throughout time, but tonight we're dealing with something a, a little deeper. With all due respect, and we're talking about the reality of the UK Privy Council, and and they right. they they stepped in and and what they said. Hang on a second, I I, I got notes here. Okay. The UK Privy Council said in England and Wales, there is legislation which allows a judge to discharge a jury because of jury mm. tampering and continue the trial by judge alone. Mm. There is no such legislation in Jamaica. And for these reasons, the appellate appeals should be allowed. So so I'm, I'm, I'm bothered by the fact that he has been locked up for this long. Uh, what has it been, 11 years? How long has he been locked up? Well, I, I'm yeah. You can basically say uh, from 2010 till now, so that's more than 11 years. Okay, I'm bothered. I'm bothered by the fact that they had to go to the UK, you know, a, a, mm -hmm. a court system to to grant this man the appeal. It's like why such a harsh sentence in Jamaica against each other with with no body. Condolences to the family, you know, of Lizard, but nobody. Go ahead. Well, all right. Without saying too much, though, I'm just gonna say um, this man is very well connected. You know what I'm saying? To um, some of the right people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, some, in the eyes of some, it would be to some of the wrong people. He's connected to. So uh, because of that, it's like, all right, he's been. Uh, I want to say stamped as the spokesperson, okay, through the music, you know what I'm saying, for all of these things. So it's like in order to, they want to put a, a shutdown or a stop to maybe some of the people that he's connected to. So they feel as if, if he's, you know, quiet or if he's, you know, sealed away, locked away, you feel me, um, he can't promote, you know what I'm saying, uh, some of the messages that, you know, the people want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about... That may have been the case once upon a time. I don't mean to cut you short, okay. but it's... Come mm -hmm. on, man. It's It's been over a decade, and for them to keep denying his appeals, 
in Jamaica. They kept denying his appeals. It's like, good God almighty, without a body. It's almost like self-hatred, if you ask me. And and, and the whoever, right. whoever the politicians have been, I don't know Jamaican politics. I don't know. But, but to mm -hmm. see this UK uh, privy council step in to, to, to help, mm -hmm. to help, it's like, God damn, why, why couldn't they do that on their own? I'm just, I'm rambling. Go ahead and finish up. Well, basically, I just want to, you know, I'm just going to finish up and say, like, the world boss is who he is. He right. goes by the name world boss for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, his music has spoke life into the Jamaican people. And not only just the Jamaican people, but also the people in the UK worldwide. You feel me, Star? So um, it's basically like he has a lot of truth in his lyrics. And um, I think they just want to limit his access to the, the type of music that he can um, put out. You know what I mean? I think that's what it's all about. Do you have a favorite Vibes Cartel song that you can share with people? I do. I do. Oh, man. Star, don't do that. Don't do that to me right now, Star Man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, just to name one, um, he, he got one that, that's called, um, I mean, one that everybody knows would be, uh, Clark's, you know what I'm saying? Or Hot Grabber, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you what know year, those what, Yeah, I know those tracks. What years, sir? You, 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 you're screaming free world balls. <laughs> I'm assuming you should know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's not. Hot Gravel came out, I'm going to say, the years either between 2011 and 2013. Got to be. Got to be. One of my favorite tracks from Vibes yeah, Cartel yeah. is um, Forever. You know that song? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Star. That's what one. year? What year? What year? Um, what year? Oh man, stop! Come on, man. I, I'm I'm not on the. I got too many different artists like that. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, man. Don't do me like 2012. That. <laughs> but yeah, man. It, yeah, man. It was a blessing, man. Yeah. 2000 when? 2012. Oh, 2012. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. You got me. You got me on that one. <laughs> hey, I appreciate the call, man. Yeah, man. Keep me posted on what's yeah, going on with vibes. Keep me posted. Seriously. Yes, right? sir. Bless up. Sir. Bless up. Bless, bless up. up. Every okay. Time, every all time. right. All right. Big up yourself. Uh, who sent it a nice donation there? Hold on a second. Uh, is it Norin? Thank you for your donation. Noran? Hopefully I said that right. I would like to get some ladies on the phone here before we, you know, close down shop. Are ugly feet a deal breaker? They are for, for most guys, you know? A man likes a certain type of woman to claim as his as his prize, you know? If you got banged up feet, <laughs> you're not getting a ring <laughs> from me, you know. Um, hang on a second. Here's the cam up link on the screen, the hater1964 yahoo.com. Thank you again, Punch, for your donation, sir. Michael, I got your donation. He says, Dema Bleach. Okay. Five one six, sit tight. You're up next. Five one six. Hammerfoot Princess sends in a donation via PayPal. Mm. Star, I'm a bum bitch. Question mark. Based on my name, yeah. That's lyrics from one of my old uh, songs. Firestarter, tap it in. Star, how are you holding up on the third day of Ramadan? Question mark. <laughs> Bishmalah. <laughs> no pork during the holy month. Um, I'm, I'm not Muslim, sir. I used to offer a salat back in the uh, late 80s when I lived on Martha's Vineyard Island. But uh, I'm not Muslim, sir. Oh, I, actually, no, no. You know what? Hang on, hang on. Firestarter, are you Muslim? See, back when I used to offer a salat, you know, and make prayer, um, <laughs> oh, there was a good guy. I'm not going to say his name right now, but but he, oh, he was he was deep with it. 
And he told me, catch this one. Everybody's Muslim. You just don't know it. <laughs> Anybody want to elaborate? Everybody's Muslim. He used to tell me, Troy, you're Muslim. You just don't know it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, Every code 516, good evening. We're talking about Vibes Cartel, conviction overturned. In London, by the Privy Council, are you up to speed? Five yes, sir. Three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Good evening. All right. Everything good. That, 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 that was me, the, the Demo Bleach Cash oh, App. You okay. mean? Good to hear from you. What's cracking? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Yo, how come nobody mentioned that um, everybody got in a bad seat from um, Eddie Murphy, man? Boomerang. Say again. Boomerang. That's what made us start paying attention to women's feet. Eddie Murphy, Boomerang, the movie, the movie. No, 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 no sir. This, this, this is, there's levels to this. Don't try and give Eddie Murphy credit, sir, just because you watched, <laughs> just because you watched a film. No, no, no. I'm saying you was paying attention to feet way before then? Yes, sir. I was born in 64. I mean, no disrespect, man, but I, I didn't need Eddie Murphy to make me pay attention. What was that film, as you just said, Boomerang? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, because you know, Homegirl was the dime piece until he pulled off them bed sheets and then yeah. it was a wrap after that. Right, right, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's all good, though. Yeah, so you talking about the vibes thing, though? Vibes Cartel, sir. Conviction overturned. Yeah, yeah, I'm up to speed. Everything is good. I'm up to speed. Um, I see everybody's like a Vibes Cartel fan, stand or whatever. It is what it is. He's a street dude, he did street things. But people forget. I remember, like you just you just schooled the dude on it. They forget a couple years ago, he was ready to turn into a big snitch to come home. I don't know if that story is true, but it was circulating, and I did address it. But um, you know, I think if I can just say this, um, and I, I want you to to speak. It's not that people are fans and stands, but but they never found the body. You know. Um, Three people, along with Vibes Cartel, were convicted. The, the, the penalty was excessive, if you ask me. Appeal after appeal was rejected, denied, and then the goddamn UK uh, Privy Council steps in to, to explain the goddamn law that, that you know, should have been um, uh, acknowledged in Jamaica. No? Yes? I, I got... Uh, yeah, I got that part, so listen. I don't got a horse in the race. Okay. I rock with vibes. You know what I'm saying? I rock with vibes, good artists. It's all good. But we got to listen to the facts of the facts. Did everybody forget there was recorded voice notes what he said, what he did, or what he wanted to do? Did we forget that? Did you, did you call us forget that? Niggas say a lot of stuff, sir. If you were to pull my phone records and audio, I talk hella crazy. You would think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a serial killer. If you pull, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't text with people because I know I'll get me I'll, either. I'll get to sipping and I'll say some crazy shit, you know. But but okay, so he said some things. There's no body, sir. They never. That's all good. Yeah, I, come on. I get you, bro. I I get you. Listen, like I said, I ain't got no horse in the race, no dog in 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 the race whatsoever. I go way back with you, stuff from high ninety seven days. I was on the Southern State Park. Well, sir, never mind me. Hang on a second. Don't make this about me. We're talking about justice. Okay. Okay. Justice. I got you. What? So, all right. So let me just keep it a buck. Then. Let's, let's keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. He, he yeah. was, he, let's say he is, was a street dude, right? That did street things. And he got caught up for it. Let's put it that way. Justice prevails and he's he, hopefully he gets out. Okay. Make sense to you? I'm, I'm trying to talk without talking if you no, understand no. what I'm saying. I hear what you're saying, so I respect your point of view. You know, um, I, I, I just... Now listen, Star, Star, not to cut you on, Star. Okay. You come from Brooklyn. I know you're a Brooklyn cat. You know about the shower posse and the Rankers and the Spanglers and Uzi Vert and then kind of man. You know what I mean? 
Because the one thing I, I got, like the other callers that called in, both parents are from Jamaica, been going back to Jamaica every year since I was a kid, but born here in America. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I can relate, I can hear it, I can talk about it from all angles. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. I know, you, you understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to just be closed minded just to be free world boss or free gully or Gaza or whatever. Understood. Just, we got to just understand and be real about the whole situation. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. You're right. There, right. there was never nobody. You're absolutely you're a thousand percent right. Right, right. There was never nobody. And you if know? I can just say this before you go, so I appreciate your call. Um, I'm from New Jersey. I'm not from Brooklyn. I got you. You know what I'm trying to say. No. Yeah, I but I, I have to clarify because, you know, I, I don't like Brooklyn. Spent, so I don't like Brooklyn niggas trying to claim me. <laughs> I, I was just passing through, you know. I, I got you. I got you. Or do 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 do, 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 do. Yo, why don't you be coming back to the hood? That's what they try to say. And I, and I always say, well, I was just passing through. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, I, I, hate I don't owe you shit. So, Come on. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you, bro. One <laughs> one love. I just had to call in. I'm not a dude that you can call in like that. But I'm watching. You, I had to chime in real quick. Thank you, man. Yeah, Salute. Right? Salute. All right, peace, peace, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That nigga started snitching, talking about shower posse. Whoo. <laughs> Please, huh? Anybody in that live chat uh, from my generation? Who was more ruthless, shower posse in Brooklyn or the Bronx? Whoo. Hang on a second. Somebody said they wanted to cam up. I just sent the link. Guys, uh, I'm moving Saturday. This Saturday, heading down to North Carolina, to the Crystal Coast. I'm going to be renting. And um, I had to delay my... Um, my new road trip, you know. But when I get down there, I, I may um, shift gears and, and then, you know, take a month off. I'll keep you posted, okay? Hang on a second. Uh, who is this tapping in? Good evening, good evening. Yo, Mr. 917 again. Hey, man. All right, so. What do we call uh, you? What do we call you? Mr. 917. Mr. Let me write this down. Mr. 917. Yes. Where do you want to start, sir? All right. So we'll start first with Vibe Cartel. Just because you don't find a body doesn't mean there wasn't a murder. Right. There's a lot of people, a lot of people who have basically been accused of things and there's nobody been found. But um, that doesn't mean they didn't do it. His music depicts of someone who's a murderer. You know, uh, even, you know, with the guy, uh, Gaza and Gully Gods in Jamaica, this is what they do. You talk about the shower posse. I'm from New York. Uh, they're ruthless. I remember being in school in Brooklyn back in the days after school. There were two people we were scared of, the Decepticons, and we were scared of the shower posse. That's who you were scared of waiting on the train. You know, so um, it's not like these guys weren't feared. But um, yeah, so that that's enough. That's one thing with that. Just because there's nobody doesn't mean that he didn't commit a crime. I'm listening. Okay. Now, if you want to talk about back to feet. <laughs> well, no, no, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let, let's go back to Vibes Cartel for a second. Um, so you want to hang him on his music? I heard you reference the music. I mean, the music is is the most important thing. I mean, that's what people are going to use. We have no body, so the only next relevant action is the music, right or wrong? Wrong, wrong. Okay, so what's your perspective on that then? Well, music is art, and, you know, um, I, I'm not the sharpest knife in the draw, but if you're going to hold people to the music, right, mm -hmm. then you have to start with um, rock and roll first and foremost because you would then find multiple people that have um, written songs to incite violence, death, destruction, Satanism, raping mass murder and other things okay music is art when it doesn't depict real life 
if your music reflects as to real life, then it's no longer art, right? So example, uh, what not, what is it? Uh, not Picasso, oh, Van Gogh. On, hang on, hang on. Okay, but where's the body? If you're saying real life, where's the body? Okay, but a body doesn't mean that there's not a crime committed. And so example, I could nut in a chick and then be like, where's the nut? She still has a baby. Well, there, there, there's a trail, sir, and, and then the, the sperm entered the uterus. That, that's a fact. And if there is uh, DNA uh, conducted and then it is determined by way of that DNA sampling, testing, what have you, it's your body. OK, they got you. But there's no buttons. I'm not trying to clown Lizard condolences his, his family. Yeah, yeah, no, Lizard was the one who got murdered. I know. Yeah. Well, well, sir, we don't know if Lizard allegedly, was, allegedly, hey, allegedly. Hang on. Well, Lizard may have have fell into a ditch. Lizard may have uh, been intertwined with some type of bussy rendezvous. <laughs> and, well, hang, hang on, hang on. Lizard, Lizard might be right now in somewhere like a Prague or Venezuela, living his life and just not giving a fuck. There's no body. Okay. Nobody. Nobody. I don't know, man, but nobody doesn't mean nobody to me when any crime is involved just means somebody did their work. I'm listening. That, I mean, that's what it gets to. If I can't find if you can't prove the crime I committed, then I didn't commit a crime. That's what it, everybody. That's what it is. It shows with Trump. It shows with all these other people. If you left the trail, then obviously you are a horrible crime committer. If you're a drug dealer and you got a trail of coke behind you, you're not a good drug dealer. So at the end of the day, your bodies got found. Uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? Uh, London was the Britain court that found him guilty of murder out, out there in 2011. You know, they found him guilty of murder. Obviously, they had to convict you. We had to have found something. If I can jump in and I appreciate uh, your perspective. You know, there's there's. Um factual evidence and then you have probable cause and then you have dna evidence there's many things that can link you to uh, a crime to my knowledge and you correct me if i'm wrong none of that stuff has been uh, brought up in in his uh, 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 um uh, uh, there case. was no DNA, but yes, they said that they had uh, witnesses that spoke on things that he had 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 done. So meanwhile, you're telling me they this guy, they convict him off of, uh, you know, hearsay. But OJ's free. Come on now. Sir, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. Must acquit. I got it. I know the whole thing. <laughs> I know what was said, but I mean, shit. You mean, you, come on now. It's on, really Trump. hard. I'm enjoying what you're saying. Come on, come on. No, no, I'm just saying I agree because I don't know if it was uh, Casey Anthony, Lacey Peterson, which one of the guys who threw his wife out of the boat and they never found the body. He got convicted of murder. No body. I'm so listening. it happens with white men as well. It's just not that, not the guy from Jamaica. You know, he, he he got it as well. And again, he ties himself to the Gaza gang. Was quote the people going to say it's not a gang, but we know the Gaza, you know, area of Jamaica. And, you know, uh, he, he speaks of these things in his lyrics. It's art. As long as your lyrics don't match up with your art. I was going to go back to what I was saying with Van Gogh. He painted himself without an ear, but then he cut his ear off and mailed it to his girlfriend. Is it now art? No, it's no longer art. It's a fact. I did this. I'm not right in the mind. Vincent Van Gogh for those. Who Vincent don't. Van Gogh cut his ear off and mailed it to his girlfriend. But he also painted himself with the ear missing. It's no longer art. This is a fact. Well, he was a psychotic European. So who's to say that Vibes Cartel wasn't a psychotic murderer? I don't know. I don't know. Not, we don't know. But we know he got charged with murder. So do we go against the judicial system or do we just believe our own thoughts because of we think well, he's a good guy? I, I'm 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 the guy who likes to dogger on a girl more than anybody else. But okay. um, if you're doggering and murdering, hey, those two things go together. You could be right. I don't claim to know. I, I don't know Jamaican law, but here in the states, uh, you know, guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You know that there was a lot of doubt in the the uh, uh, conviction. And there's doubt to anybody we like. like. Okay, hey, anybody we like, we give doubt to. Tory Lanez had doubt. We like him. Chris Brown, doubt. Michael sir, Jackson, sir, doubt. Vibes Cartel, doubt. Sir, Tory Lanez is innocent, my nigga. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll take your word for that one. <laughs> we'll take your word for that one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, the, the, the system has been uh, uh, questioned. 
and the UK Privy Council found a flaw in, in the Jamaican legislation. That's how they even got to this uh, point uh, by way of granting uh, the, the uh, overturning the conviction. But I'll let you finish up and then you want to talk about uh, feet. Yes, go ahead. OK, yes, I'll finish up. So I'll say I've been to Jamaica. If a place has goats and chickens running around, you're going to trust your trust their judicial system. I'm just going to say anyway, let's go back to the feet now. The feet are the segue to beauty. I'm going to tell you why. Right. Nobody gets in the shower doing a, a handstand. So your feet should be the cleanest thing on your body. They should be appealing, attractive, soft, nice for both men and women. Right. If your feet are nasty, the rest of your body are nasty. That's all I'm going to say. Are you married, sir? Who are we talking to? I'm not married. Okay. Not that you have to be. I'm 59. I have no... Okay, I'm 42 and I, I'm, I'm not married. Okay. Are the are the feet a deal breaker for a young man such as yourself? Who's they doing? are a deal breaker. Hell yeah, they're a deal breaker. They, uh, they won't even get you a ring. They won't get you a second date. If I see, I want to see some feet on the first date. If the feet look bad, then we don't need to go. I don't know what they're talking about with the whole uh, Eddie Murphy movie. I don't care about that. But if your feet are messed up, you know, it's like teeth. If you have bad teeth, man, how can we even deal with each other? Right. <laughs> Usually uh, over the decades, when I look in a girl's mouth, if her teeth are fucked up, I know she comes from she comes from a poor family. Her yeah, she father, comes from a poor family, Section Eight, you know, some welfare, a little father, Medicaid. We get it. Lover, he couldn't afford to get her fucking braces. But yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I appreciate the call. We want to finish up. Uh, promote your platform. No, uh, no, no platform. I just like calling in, talking trash, and having a good time. I appreciate the show. I'm gonna donate some more, and you know, have a good night. Thank you. Salute. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Hang on a second. Here's Mr. Skyler Saunders. Good evening, Skyler. How are you, man? Salute, sir. How are you? Good to see you, man. What's cracking on a hey. Thursday evening, late night? Feeling well. It's Pi Day, you know, 3.14. Plus the uh, the other numbers regarding the uh, circum circumference of a circle. It's, it's, it's a beautiful day. I like today. Would you like to expand on that for those who think that you're smoking sherm stick? Sherm <laughs> stick. Well, um, they, for for mathletes especially, I'm not a, a math head, but you know people that you know take on math, they have little you know get-togethers and eat pie and it's a, either pizza pie or you know dessert pies and uh, celebrate the three fourteen three point fourteen with the multiple numbers behind it. Okay, I'm talking about vibes cartel this evening. Are you up to speed on the? Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, I'm actually I'm. I'm actually doing a write up, you know, uh, the follow up. What I wrote about uh, this is a few years ago about uh, Vibes Cartel asked if he was snitching, if he snitched. Um, I'm going to be asking about whether he'll see freedom, um, depending on where this over turn this this turnover of the of the conviction. And uh, I think it's going to be, you know, it could be in his favor. And it's it's something that I consider, you know, with most. People that find themselves within the penal system, you're probably going to get out. You, you there's a good chance. I mean, th there's you know sketchy evidence. There's, there's they said it was a juror. There's juror X. They called it. Um, they sh there was uh, there was bribery and things going on. They should have sat that person down. They shouldn't have been uh, involved in any of the jury uh, processes. So he could definitely get a chance at liberty. Have you been to Jamaica, Skyler? Never. I've never been outside of the United States. Well, you were in the Marines for how many years? Yeah, yeah. I was stateside. Okay, so you never traveled uh, abroad? Never. Oh. I thank you for your service, but somehow I thought that you were over in a foreign land uh, shooting people uh, in the name triggers. of liberty <laughs> and oil, no? Well, no, I just came into the Marine Corps for money and benefits. <laughs> just oh, okay. get away from get away from Delaware. And then I had to come back. Then I left again. Then I came back. So I thank you just the same. So thank you very much. Have, sir. have you ever been dropped out of a helicopter with a <laughs> <laughs> never been I've never been dropped out of a perfectly good aircraft? Out of a helicopter with the AR-15 and you, <laughs> you fucking can't well, well, and well the thing is compass and <laughs> We use M16s in the in the military. I, the civilians use AR15s. Right, right. Yeah, pardon me. I just No, 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 no. Not to, I'm not trying, you know, I'm not trying to be like Mr. Nordo. I'm just I'm just trying to clarify. Okay. 
Do you carry firearms now with you um, on a daily basis? I'm crazy, so I can't. <laughs> I got the bipolar uh, diagnosis that that's automatic. Say no to him for uh, any drug, any guns or anything like that. Hmm. So it's just cut off. <laughs> so for those who don't know, um, you said it, not me. Uh, mm-hmm. You have been um, uh, classified or w- what would the proper term be um, in terms of your uh, condition? That's about um, classified or uh, diagnosed. 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 Yeah. Schizophrenic, paranoia, what? Bipolar, bipolar one. Bi- okay, bipolar one. Uh, what other levels are there to being bipolar? How many levels? There's, I think there's just two, bipolar one and bipolar two. Okay. Is bipolar one like serious or it's just like... Uh, is bipolar it like, one is just like the entry level. Like, like, bipolar uh, two is like a, next... A mild stroke. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. No. I don't mean to laugh. I'm just no. Saying. It's good. It's, it's it's all good. I've been here before. My family and, and and other members. I've been here before. It's all good. Um, no, bipolar two is a little bit more serious. Bipolar one is just like you know the the cycles of depression and is an um mania. That's the that's the difference. Are you on lithium? I forget. Yes, I'm on lithium. Lithium pills, injections. How do you pills? Know? Take pills. pills. Yeah, man, that's serious shit, man. <laughs> it is, it is. But it's all good because I haven't been into a psych ward in over a decade, so I'm good. Man, hold on a second, um, Mister Nine One Seven. I got your donation. Thank you for your support, sir. He says, "No clean feet, I will not beat." Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on a second, Skylar. Uh, Kingston Eight, I got your donation. Star, star, uh, the real bad man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for your your support. All right, so Skylar, um, let me make sure I got your information correct here on the, the show. Run on, make sure I'm always promoting you because you appreciate you are, it. You are a sponsor here. Um, YouTube.com forward slash at Sky Saunders. Yes. Yes. That's correct. No Skyler, just Sky Song. Sky. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And your last video was what that you posted? Just a few hours ago. The topic? What was it? Oh, I, I, what was I, I was talking about. Um, give me a second, guys. Go ahead, pull up the screen. Yeah, give me. Time. This, I got this, time. Is about, this is about Polar talking. Hold on. Let me, let me make 100% sure. Um, what are I talking about? Emails uh, to I'm... call in or cam up about this ugly feet. Wow. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Emails. Cash Doll. She reveals, uh, she's uh, pregnant. What's that? Cash Doll, a Detroit rapper and a female rapper. She's, she just revealed that she's pregnant with it, her second oh, child. That's what you spoke Tracy about? T. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People care about that? I think so. It was it was on the top page. I only get the top page, you know, ones that I get views. So, hmm. okay. Do you ever do any shows about uh, Boosie, <laughs> Boosie Badass? I have done shows with Boosie about Boosie. He's one of my favorite topics. I love his uh, album about the blues. He's at a Blues Cafe. That's probably one of my favorite albums. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Definitely got, got definitely got to talk about Boosie. Okay, all right, Skylar. Uh, before you go, sir, um, we we've spoken uh, here on the show uh, earlier today about our ugly feet, a deal breaker. Uh, in your thoughts, your opinion, I'm not much of a feet guy with females. Um, I usually have them wear socks when we're doing the wild thing. <laughs> uh, I've read somewhere that you get extra uh, pleasure. Or something like that when you when when they they're wearing socks, so. Okay, okay. Hey man, great to talk to you as always. Great talk to you. So thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Thank you, Skylar. Talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Salute. Skylar Saunders tapping in.